the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, the Abbey of St. Joan. We are a grassroots organization that raises money for AIDS charity, fights for queer rights and visibility, and does safer sex outreach. That's fundamentally what we do. So the face paint started way back when, I'd say, I think it was 81 or 82. Um, there were four original founding members. Like as the order grew, it um, we had more um, recognized people in the community wanting to join, and in order for them to hide themselves, they uh, they also started doing the white face. So it just kind of took off from there, and it became the centralized look. Putting it on, it kind of sets the tone, and everybody wants to talk to this wild, crazy, porcelain-faced drag nun. And it, it breaks down so many barriers. So it's even, you know, even today, it's still, you know, getting more and more ingrained in who we are. It wasn't just about hiding yourself, but also they realized that it, it garnered a lot of attention. A lot of people came up to Vicious specifically and was like, what's with the makeup? You know, why are you dressed like that? Why are you doing that? It kind of opened doors for them to speak about what they were doing running around dressed as nuns, you know, that they were doing community work, that they were doing this or that fundraiser or whatever they were happen, happened to be doing at the time. And then it's, it's a very unifying thing. So anywhere in the world that you go, if you see a, a, a nun, somebody dressed as a nun with white face on, there is a very good chance that they're going to be a sister of perpetual indulgence. And so this kind of takes away our face and our, our identity so that we become this trusted persona, which is a sister. It doesn't matter the person behind it to some people. It just matters that we're a sister and we're there to listen and they, they trust that. We kind of consider ourselves ambassadors to the gay community as well as nuns to the gay community and as well as jesters because we're also out there willing to make fun of ourselves at all times. I mean, it's part of our main mission statement is to never take yourself so seriously that you forget to have fun because when you forget to have fun you just become boring and droll and nobody really gives a shit anymore <laughs> you know I found out that I was HIV positive I I looked at it and I just was like okay so I can take this and I can I can fall apart or I can really use it and I can become a survivor. I would not have been as okay as I am with the fact that I have this disease in my body that is constantly trying to kill me. And I did it to myself. And without the support system of the sisters, I would have fallen apart. I wouldn't have known who to talk to. I wouldn't have known what to do. And I wouldn't have, I do not think that I would have found that strength right away. I had other people in the order that were like, you know, hey, I am too. I am, you know, as soon as I came out, they were like, I am too. And you know, you, you know that you've got a support system. And it meant so much to me that I started going out and, and talking about it in the community and very openly telling people. And it just then solidified the reasons that when I first saw this order and I was like, okay, I want to get back to the community that's given me so much. This is what I, this is how I get back, is that I can let people know who have this disease that it is okay. Growing up, I never had a group or anything in high school um, to make me feel included, so I kind of wanted to help youth, but somehow that mission has changed. It's kind of grown into um, just making sure everybody's okay with who they are and you know, it doesn't matter what you do in your personal life. As long as it's not harming others, it's okay. 
I think too many people get caught up in the, I shouldn't do this, or I should be doing this kind of thing, and that stresses them out, and it makes them not lead happy, productive lives. So that's become my mission. Maybe. Like, I've learned so much just, um, just in meeting so many amazing people and going out and doing stuff for our community that it just, it means a lot. And, and learning, you know, like, all I knew about the sisters is that I saw them at Gay Bingo and they were really pretty and sparkly and they wore <laughs> really painful looking shoes. <laughs> and, wow. and, Learn, just learning how um, how big of an impact that they have on the community has been huge, and being a part of that, just even in the last three months, has been just, like. Look at you all broke through everything. Life changing. Can you? This this organization has become a family. You know, it's a, it's a sorority of 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 friends that give a shit about that stranger. And we want to make a difference in their life and we want to make sure that they know it's okay if people turn their back on you then they turn their back on you it's their loss but there's always going to be more people around the next corner that are going to stand right next to you and going to hold your hand and i'm and i'll be that first person we're going to be heading out now to go up to cc's to meet up with a bunch of other nuns and hand out some condoms and lube and spread joy among the community so uh why don't you come along and see what we do IDs at the ready. Hello. So yeah, just I want you to go around, interact with people, uh, and you know, hand out condoms and spread joy, and just kind of do what you do well. Excellent. You having a good night? No. What's your plans? What are your plans this evening? Hey, hey, that sounds like a plan. Let me know if you find it, and we'll work it out. <laughs> Women, I challenge you. See the eye level here. See the fascination. This is what happens. This is why men oogle you. They're just, they're fun. They're toys. They're playful. Hi. How's it going, friend? This is Sister Costa spelling you. Ah, uh, the men to be rich. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, spreading a little love, having some fun with some joy, touching people completely appropriately and respectfully. And respectfully. And getting some condoms, you know, having some fun. You wonder what nuns do, I guess, right? Oh, right, it's okay. Bless me, bless me. Oh, you are blessed. I'm healed. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll put it in our into our charity fund. Good. We'll make sure it goes back out into the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, $10 here, $5 there. That adds up to thousands. Last year, we gave away over $16,000. Did you really? Yes. Good for From you. donations just like this. So Good thank you. you so much. Good for you. Thank you. So yeah, it's a little bit of what we do. We're a little crazy. We're wild. Crazy. A little colorful. I was crazy once. Well, you know. <laughs> I want to thank you very much for coming along with us and uh, figuring out who we are. And uh, if you ever see one of the sisters out and about, please don't hesitate to come up and say hello to us. That's what we're about. We love you, and we want you to be proud of who you are. So uh, have a good night and be safe.